last time on Persona 3 Reload. Why do you have a gun? <laughs> What, guns are your hobbies? I mean, not a hobby, but... You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. It doesn't actually shoot anything. <laughs> it shoots rubber bullets. Oh, okay. Now, back to Iwatodai. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. When we last left off, uh, we jumped right into the game and... Uh, met Yukari and Mitsuru. So we are just starting out. It is the first night in in the game, and I believe we just have to go to bed right now. So <laughs> let's go ahead. I should probably go to sleep early today. I should put my stuff away first. I should put my stuff away in the closet. Oh, I forgot to do that. My bad. Purchase DLC. There we go. I don't have any purchase DLC, so. Uh, sleeping in your bed will allow you to advance forward in time, proceeding to the next day. School starts tomorrow. I should go to sleep early, so I'm ready for the first day of school. Alright, first day of school. Here we go. Are you awake? <laughs> what if I just say nothing? <laughs> nah, I'll be nice. Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep okay? If you wanna go ahead, I've been asked to show you the way to school. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's head out. Ooh, cutscene. This is how we'll be getting to school every day. It's a monorail. Pretty cool, huh? I honestly love the ride here. It almost feels like we're flying over the ocean. Oh, by the way, our school's at the last stop on this line. It's called Tatsumi Port Island. Have you heard of it? The whole thing's man-made, and our school's smack dab in the middle. Oh look! There it is now! Morning! Well, here we are! Allow me to welcome you to Gekko Khan High School. I hope you like it. I gotta say, Yukari is very pretty. Like, goddamn. You'll be okay on your own from here, right? Let's see. I guess you should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is over there on the left. They'll tell you more when you get there. Oh, that about does it. Any questions before I go? Uh. Which class are you in? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? What, you mean about the, the gun? Yeah, the gun. Uh, please don't tell anyone. Okay, I'll just say that we had sex then. No! See you! There's a crowd forming in front of the bulletin board. Maybe I'll take a peek before going to the faculty office. Alright, rotating the camera. Use right stick to rotate the camera. Pressing in right stick will recenter the camera behind the protagonist. Hold up the pad to focus your view closer in on the protagonist. Pressing down D-pad will reset the camera. In some locations, the camera will be locked in place. Whenever it's available, using the camera will help you to get a help you to get a good sense of your environment. Right? 
can see here. Hello. There's no need for them to, put, to post the names of the kids who are going to be in our class. I mean, we'll never see them again after we graduate anyways. That's, uh, that's one way to look at it. What? I don't see my name. What should I do? What should I do? Oh, great. I have the worst teacher ever. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Class F, huh? <laughs> this guy. Oh, my God. Homeroom teacher is... What? Miss Toriyumi? I guess she is older than me, but... I was hoping to be with Miss Kano. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll see that guy. You'll see why I don't like that guy later. I don't think anybody likes that guy, honestly. <laughs> okay, uh... Oh, here's some good characters. What? Cos, what are you doing? Why are you wearing a jersey? Uh, what do you mean, why? We've got practice after class, remember? But we've got to attend the opening ceremony and go to class before all that. Hurry and head into your classroom so you can change into your normal uniform. What? But I just... Okay, okay, fine. Just quit glaring at me. So where's the bulletin board with all the class assignments? It's literally right there, Cause. You're in class F. I'm in a different homeroom, so I can't keep an eye on you all the time. You got that? <laughs> nice. Good. Oh god. Kids these days don't know how to res show respect for their elders. We're their teachers. We live longer than them. But Moriyama and her friends had to pull that on me at the very beginning of the term. See you. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I need to get back to managing the shop. <sighs> Even you're shooing me away? Some way to start the school year. I don't think my nerves can take this. Oh dear. All right, all right. I made to order more of those cream-filled breads you like so much, right? You could have just asked. <laughs> all right. Uh, hello. Huh? The faculty office? Um, I think it's that way. Actually, I'm new here, so you should probably ask someone else. <laughs> Oh my god, here's a really good character. Now, listen closely. A true man should always carry the fiery soul of a samurai within them. Our school curriculum nurtures the samurai spirit within our students so that they contribute to society. Oh la la, how wonderful. I wish to set my soul on fire and learn the ways of the great samurai also. That's what I like to hear, my boy. Though you hail from a foreign land, the samurai spirit burns within you all the same. <laughs> oh. I love this guy. He's so sweet. Oh, this girl is nice too. Huh? The library? That's strange. I even made sure to check the map, but where am I? Yeah. <laughs> oh. She's so cute. Alright, to the faculty office. Seems to be the faculty office. Should I go in? Enter. Oh, are you the new student? Huh. Makoto Yuki. Hmm. You're a second year, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see, 10 years ago, your parents... I'm sorry, uh, I've been so busy, I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Ms. Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Thanks, nice to meet you. What's your first name? Uh, I'm not asking that, like, that is... Yeah, that is not a thing you should ask when you're in Japan. Because <laughs> I know in Japan, being on a first name basis is like, should be very like intimate and special. So 
yeah, no, this is just a teacher-student relationship, so, no. I'll just say, nice to meet you. Wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F, that's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Come on, I'll show you the way. And so, another new school year is upon us. I'd like each of you to remember the proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... Uh, the principal continues with his speech. Psst. Hey. You came to school with Takeba-san this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. You must be pretty close, huh? What's the deal between you and her? Oh. And, uh, does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> Nobody seems to know. Play off, you jerk. She does, she doesn't, I don't know. She doesn't. Really? You asked her? Wow. I'm surprised. Shut up, Xander Mobus. Wait. How close are you guys? Who's that? Someone's talking. Yeah, sounds like it's coming from Miss Toriyumi's class. Hey, shh. Be quiet. You're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> Sup? <laughs> what? Don't look at me like that. Uh, and you are? Me? Call me Junpei. Junpei Yuri. <laughs> I transferred here when I was a second year in middle school. Pretty tough being the new kid at first, you know? So I just wanted to say, hey, see what a nice guy I am? Didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> there you go again. Acting like everybody's best friend. Try not to make him uncomfortable, okay? What? I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Yeah, I know. It's just a coincidence. It must be fate. Uh, it's just a coincidence. No, but still, I was a little surprised. Um, hello? Are you forgetting I'm in this class too? Anyway, I gotta ask you. I heard you guys walk to school together. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. Huh? What are you talking about? We just happen to live in the same dorm. Why do people always jump to conclusions? Rumors been spreading about this already. Now I'm worried. Hey, you didn't tell anyone about you know what, did you? Uh, you know what? <laughs> Don't tell me you forgot already. Oh, that's right. We had sex. No, that's not what I. Uh. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, okay? Oh. What? Last night? <laughs> Wait a minute, don't get the wrong idea. Listen, I just met him yesterday, and there is absolutely nothing between us. Jeez. I have to go now. There's something I need to take care of for the archery team. You better not start any more rumors. Ah, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man. <laughs> you the man. Well. Here's to a fun school year, dude. 
<laughs> if I can you watch it, head head. we can walk to the station again. <laughs> Man, I fucking love Junpei. Like, he is. Ugh. He's. Like, he acts cocky, but he is just, like, so sweet deep down. Yo! Should we. Should we also take a look around the school while we're at it? I'll just follow you around. You wanna leave? Head for the front entrance. Okay, well, let's stop people. New school year is sure a rub. New teachers, new classmates. It's exhausting having to start over every year. Okay. Uh. Club ditching student. <laughs> oh, you're that transfer student. You gonna join a club or something? I'm so thinking about it. Well, club activities suck anyway. You have to socialize and be considerate of, of other people. I guess it's a good way to make new friends, but I also just want to enjoy high school, you know? Uh, trust me, high school isn't that good. Did you feel completely lost whenever you transferred to a new school? This is second floor, and the one below has the faculty office, club rooms, and more hands-on classes. You go down either of the two staircases, you'll be able to reach the front entrance. Well, thank you for that, uh, kind-looking student. Oh god, this one. You best suited. Hey, new kid, you have no idea how lucky you are. You're surrounded by cute girls in 2F. Like Takabasan. Oh, Takabasan. Just mm. one rail her. Yeah. You're trying to leave. You gotta go a floor down. What, did you forget something? Er, sorry, did you forget or something? My bad. No. Alright, let's go. Mr. Superman. Oh god. Oh, did you just transfer to our school? Right, well just so you know, the only person I'm interested in is Karicho Senpai. She looks so stunning at today's welcoming ceremony too. Oh boy. Head grief. Just because it's a new school year doesn't mean that students should be running wild. It's up to me to reinforce order. That is, once I've officially become a member of the disciplinary committee. You think so? Making such a sour face again, Odegiri Kuhn. I guess some things never change. Did you hear? The new transfer suit is gonna be in 2F. Uh, yeah, I'm right here. Oh my gosh, what if he turns out to be really cute? Why to go steal a peek? Oh yeah, apparently he's staying at Evil Toad I Door. The one Takabasan staying at. But isn't it kind of weird to transfer schools as a second year? I wonder if he was a troublemaker at his last school. Oh here's Takaba. Hey! Oh, you're oh you're leaving now? You know how to get back, right? Jinpei, don't go teaching Yuki kun any weird stuff, okay? Alright? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch you later, Yuki Don. You can tell how fashionable a person is by how they wear their school uniform. I'm gonna brush up on the latest trends to show off my best stuff. Okay. Whatever you say, bitch. Nah. Oh. That's where the classrooms for the other grades are. There's something for us there. You wanna go to the rooftop? You gotta use the stairs on the other side. Oh, okay. Oh, this one is a cutie. <sighs> I'm already a second year. I hope I can fit in with my new class. <laughs> we'll see more of her later. Oh look, I can run. Ooh, I can run up the roof. Hey Junpei, chase me. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. Mm. The store leads to the courtyard? Which leads to the gym? Or was it the practice field? I'm so confused. Oh. What do you want? I'm a little busy here. 
I'm gonna text all the new friends I made today. On my flip phone. <laughs> Cause, you know, those were hot back in the day. The, these classrooms are also used for club activities, not just for lessons. Typically, it's the culture clubs they use them, but they don't seem to be accepting new members right now. Oh, here's me, sir. Yes. Oh, it's you. Be careful on your way back. I'll be heading to the dorm soon as well. Don't stay out too late. Uh, okay. You have some nerve dozing off in class this early in the new semester. Why, back in my day, it was unheard of. Oh, kids these days. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, alright? Yeesh, the semester just started and I'm already being nagged at. Man, just when I was planning on going to Hagakure for some ramen. <laughs> I couldn't sleep last night because I kept thinking about school something, so I came to the nurse's office to nap. But the nurse gave me some weird medicine to set. I turned it down because it looked really gross. Only a brave soul would dare to drink something like that. Oh yeah, I know that nurse dude is, is a hippie dippy weirdo. Talking about poor shit. No. Ready to get out of here? Yep. That's right. Ooh, let's get going. Oh, I see my favorite character in the back. I didn't say anything, but he's there. Oh, check out the jocks on their run. Say, you thinking about joining the club? Oh wait, new members gotta wait a while before they can apply. Your stop city with Todai, right? Orms, man, must be nice. Talk about living life wild and free. Well, I'm going this way, so see you tomorrow. And it, you might recognize this uh, that I I use this song for my outro. Hold on. This part right here. I use this for my outro because I just love it so much. So. Yeah. We mm -hmm. received a call from this area. Is everything okay? Uh, not this again. It's the same. It's the same as that weird syndrome being reported all over the news. Oh, I guess the new school semester started. I was wondering why I've been seeing so many students around. The world's a strange place these days. These kids better prepare themselves for the future. Cat loving boy. My friend has a cat and it's so cute. I'm allowed to have one though, so I just try to get my fill of cats by looking at streets. Oh, speaking of little kids. <sighs> I want to eat some takoyaki. Huh? Who are you? I'm not talking to strangers. Sorry. Hey there, kid. I haven't seen you around these parts before. Our takoyaki's look smacking good. You'll be asking for more before you go. Okay, maybe I'll get some takoyaki later. Oh. Oh, are you a student from the school around here? Well, you'll be glad to know you can get some quality sushi close by. I'm making right here. Drop by some time if you want. Oh, actually, our shop is still under renovation. Sorry. Dear me. We are a bookstore, not a sushi restaurant. I'm sorry, he's always like that. <laughs> There's so many great shops here. I can't help but swing by. Oh, uh, I'm not out. I'm not here for. I'm not out here for work right now. I'm not slacking off. Sure, dude. Whatever you want to tell yourself. Oh, I never noticed this yeah. before. 
Man, I'm so happy that you know, maybe I'll win a couple laps. Remember someone new will compete this year, like a rival to get me fired up. Huh. I never noticed that this guy was up here before. Oh, and this guy too. Hmm? Who are you? By the looks of it, we go to the same school. Sorry, but I'm busy trying to decide what to eat here. Should I go with pork ramen and chase it with rice? Or perhaps a large hockey curry bowl? Okay. That that kid's a weird one. Let me tell you that right now. Oh. Uh, use the town map to navigate your surroundings and move from one location to another. Visit as many spots in town as you can, and they'll be added to the map. of shops here at the Iwa Iwatodai Strip Mall. There's maybe a delicious food that had to Wakatsu. There's also a hot curry, a famous ramen shop. You can also find dessert here and burgers and... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going on about food. Um, it's a TV time. Just kidding. Okay. A uniform. You must be a suit and I guess on high. That's nice. Do you live in the storm? Looks like getting on high went through a rough patch a while back. But it's been rebuilt into such a magnificent building. Oh, never mind you. Enjoy your new school semester this spring. Let's go. Wait, actually, can I do anything? Oh, wait. Hey, no, I don't think I can. Okay, let's go back. Welcome back. Ah, welcome back. How was your first day at school? Iron. Hmm. Maybe overwhelming at the beginning, but you'll get used to everything in due time. But for now, you should go back to your room and rest. If you wanna go ahead, You're not my mom, you can't tell me what to do. Actually, my mom's dead, so... By the way... It's dangerous to go out on your own at night. Please refrain from doing so. Besides, you must be tired after today. You should make sure to get a good night's rest. You're not my mom. Oh, welcome back. Oh, hi. What are you doing? Not much, how about you? Um... I'm just killing time, I guess. Well, you're probably pretty tired after your first day, huh? Maybe you should go to bed early. Why is everybody telling me that? Not tired, damn it. But fine, I'll go to bed. I'm going out for a bit. <laughs> oh, this character. Um, sorry, sorry. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? There's a lot going on. I know. Severe cases of apathy syndrome are suddenly developing in people who showed no symptoms prior. It's been quite a topic of discussion. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It's got to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay out there on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. This isn't a game, Akihiko. Talking. Have you heard? Hey, have you heard the rumor about, uh, what was it again? The bathroom? Hold up. It's old news. Besides, it's just a ghost story, not a rumor. 
We're talking about that one girl, right? The second year. She's not going to school, just sits around staring at walls all day long. Whenever her mom tries to talk to her, the only thing she says is, It's coming. It's coming. What? Is that how the story goes? Eh, whatever. It's probably all made up anyway. Some disturbing rumors seem to be spreading around the school. Or spell as well. Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzu Kasai. Uh, what? I've been more interested in Tota Kaneko's work lately. His essays are fantastic. He's also a famous haiku poet. I wonder why all this isn't in the textbook. Well, I guess I'll just bring in his book next time. Speaking of haikus, they often use words or phrases related to seasons. But it's easy to get them mixed up. For example, you'd think tasty bamboo shoots and vivid herb streamers would symbolize spring, right? Well, they're actually related to summer. Haiku poets usually refer to seasons based on the lunar calendar, making it fairly complicated. Hey! Hey, Iori, are you listening? Here's a question for you. Among these phrases, a rain of flowers, mystical mirage, and vivid herb streamers, which one symbolizes summer? What? What? Uh, uh, psst, I caught up. You were listening, right? Lend a brother a hand. Uh, when going about your day to day life, you will come across certain actions that require the use of one of these stats academics, charm, and courage. Social stats can be raised by doing various things around the city or by answering questions correctly in class. Keep an eye out for activities that might help you hone those skills. Well, race symbolizes summer. Uh, the big group circles. Exactly. Yep, that's right. Now you were listening to me after all. By the way, physical mirage and a rain of flowers represents spring. Mirage is a natural phenomenon that occurs around late March to early June. And a rate of flowers refers to the spring showers around the time cherry blossoms bloom. It's not literally raining flowers. Make sure you remember all that. Next topic is. <laughs> well, you know how much I like to pay attention. A lifesaver. Man, you seriously saved my bacon, Makoto. Yuki Kun gave him the answer just now. He must have a good memory or something. You can hear my classmates whispering. I've become slightly more popular. Oh, charm. Nice. This is ended for today. Should head back to the door. Toad Ice Storm Ball is bustling with activity in afternoon. Oh, he's back! So, this is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Please, have a seat. I apologize for the confusion regarding your accommodations, but it may take a bit longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Uh, why are you here? To welcome you, of course. You don't mind, do you? Speaking of which, Takeba-kun, have you seen Kirijo-kun by any chance? She's upstairs. As diligent as always, but it couldn't hurt to come down and say hello. Is there anything else? 
Uh, no, some here. There are only four students in this dorm. You, Takeba-kun here, Kirijo-kun, and a third year named Akihiko Sanada-kun. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? Uh, the other night I saw. You saw something strange? Like what? <sighs> you were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. Something doesn't seem right. Any other questions? No, nope, I'm good. Excellent. Here's to a wonderful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm sure you're worn out from all these formalities. You may want to consider going to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. <laughs> Get it? Bookworm? <laughs> because you're students? Uh. Is this gonna be a whole thing with you? Oh, yes, yes, it will be. Uh. Clever, isn't it? Get used to his lame jokes. No, I don't think I will. I guess I'll head back to my room too. Like the chairman said, you should get some rest. Transferring schools is a real pain when you're not used to it. Good night. I should listen to them and go rest in my room. Hello there. So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's currently fast asleep. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Come on, what do you say? I can't leave a pretty girl standing around in the cold like this. Mm, what do you think, Naomi? I mean, I'm cool with it, but if my parents found out... You don't need to know. Just drop them a text. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh, this sucks. <laughs> I'm serious. I was scared yeah, right. shitless. Nice scared story, shitless, bro. That was the Bayside Rockers, brought to you by KJ. And that's all for tonight, folks. Tune in again next week, yeah, same time, same place. <laughs> the program you just heard was sponsored by Kirijo Electronics, bringing the future to you. The time is now 12 a.m. still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He may be asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Though, come to think of it, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Welcome 
to the Velvet Room. Oh, hello. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. That's the document I signed at the door. From now on, you shall be welcome here as a guest in the Velvet Room. You were destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my assistance to do so. I only ask one thing in return. Abide by your contract, and assume full responsibility for the choices you make. I'm just going to say, I don't understand. That is fine. For now. Hold on to this. Velvet key. Until we meet again. Okay, dude. It was like I had a strange dream. It's time to go to school. Morning. Yo, I'm so sleepy today. Times like these, the best course of action is to sleep during class. An adrenaline rush you get from dozing off right in front of the teacher can really spice up your dreams. Uh, I know what you mean. Right. <laughs> it's real addicting, ain't it? After you build up the courage to do it once, you gotta try it again. Then again, since I'm not listening to the watch, I'm pretty much screwed later. Oh, but we have classic literature today. I think you're stuck with Mr. Nasty Old Lakota. Now, moving on. <laughs> I'm Mr. Ricota. I'll be your classic literature teacher. We'll be learning all about good old Japan through some truly great stories. Exciting, right? Now, some people say classic lit isn't relevant anymore, but oh, are they wrong? The students, the other teachers, they don't know what they're talking about. Nobody really understands it like they should. I'm feeling sleepy. Should I close my eyes for a few minutes? Uh, I need to work on my academics, so stay awake. Good grief. Hey, are you even listening to me? Let's wake up, shall we, children? Now, open your textbooks. First on our syllabus is Issei Monogatari, The Origin of Japanese Literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters might even call it Da Bomb. Ugh, I, I can tell you people are zoning out on me. Dude, stop trying to act all cool. Uh, I forced myself to stay awake and listen to the lecture. Ugh, I don't like it when older adults do that, when they try to... When they try to use, like, slang that's... Ah. How's it going? That's like, you know, supposedly hip and cool to just try to fit in. It, it reminds me of that one meme where it was, uh, shoot, what's the name of that guy? I, uh, shoot, his name is eluding me, but you know that one meme where it's just like, how do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> that me. It reminds me of that. Wanna stop somewhere on the way home? Uh where? I don't know. 
Maybe grab a bite to eat? That's right, you're new around here. No worries, I'll show you. It's just around the corner from here. Let's go. This is Polonia Mall. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we end up coming here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade. Oh yeah, you can rent out CDs too. And there's that club over there. Not that I've ever done it myself. This place may not look like much, but I'm not complaining. Let's check out the CDs first. Oh, whoa, that's new. I gotta try this. Let me show you my mad cream game skills. Oh, damn it! Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I cannot leave an empty handed. Dude, I'm gonna look for the size. Yeah, that's it, yo! One more try. Just one more. <laughs> I hung out with Jim Bay for a while before heading back to the door. Welcome back. I'm pretty late. I don't need to be overbearing, but please don't make this a regular occurrence. Well, in any case, you look quite tired. Why don't you go to bed early tonight? Okay, I told you, you're not my mom. You <laughs> should. Uh, LB will display a map of your current location and shortcuts that will allow you to pass. When it's displayed, you can open the town map directly from the shortcut selection screen. Some shortcut destinations, or even the shortcut function itself, may be unavailable in certain situations. Okay. By the way, I guess there was a dorm mother here once who cooks, who cooked and stuff. But it's just us students now. Maybe that's why we have such a nice kitchen. It seems like a waste not to use it. Yeah, it does. I think. Yeah, I don't know that I'd really be able to make good use of it though. And Kurito Senpai doesn't do stuff like cooking, but I would feel kind of bad if no one ever used it. say, the moon looks quite stunning on this hazy spring night. Though tempting as it may be to spend a night such as this gazing at the sky, I suggest you head to bed early and get some rest. Don't worry, there will be more full works. Okay, um, I believe we're coming up on a big story event, so I'm gonna say right here, and we will end it right here. So... Uh, so I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please leave a like and comment down below uh, what you think of the game so far, and yeah, I will see you all next time. Bye!